I will now explain you um, how this entire thing is gonna work. Basically, um, I randomized 15 maps from Trackmania Exchange earlier today. Maps are unknown, so they were not public before. Nobody was able to practice them. So the people, the players, and not even my mods, basically nobody besides me knows what's uh, coming up now. In general, the format is uh, very similar to the Bonk Cup. So on each map, we're gonna have one short warm up and then three rounds. In each round, players then uh, can collect points, as it's usual with the cup mode. And at some point, they will reach um, the point limit of 6,969 points. And I want you guys to put a nice into the chat for that beautiful number. And once people hit finalist mode, um, they need to win one more round in order to close out the match. We're going to be playing five finalists. So as soon as there are five people who closed out finalists, the match will be over. Of course, uh, this tournament is not only like a weekly tournament, there's also um, a monthly element, which is the monthly final. And that works basically in a way that in each weekly qualifier, so today is going to be number one, and then we're going to have a second and a third one. In each qualifier, people can collect points. I will explain that towards the ending, but that's basically important to know. So if people uh, do good, they collect points and they can qualify for the monthly final, which will be at the end of the month, so quite simple. I'm pretty sure like once um, we actually play the tournament, you guys uh, will understand how it works. It is not that complicated. There we go, very first edition of the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Good luck, have fun everyone. I hope you will enjoy it. And we're gonna start on map one, which looks fantastic already. It is called an okay map for once in my life. Looks very, very great. So as I said, I randomized maps from Trackmania Exchange. And when you just choose a random map out of the map pool of like 300,000 maps uploaded to Trackmania, um, yeah, most often you get maps which look like this, which look very, very interesting, very high quality. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go into spectate mode, of course. I will not play myself, obviously. And let's see how people are gonna warm up here what people are gonna be cooking it shouldn't be too hard of a map i also filtered out some maps because i also um randomized a khaki map for example and also some uh, uh, three minute trial rpg maps they are of course um yeah it doesn't really make a lot of sense to play them obviously so yeah let's see let's see let's see uh, isn't this unfair today because today uh, some people can't collect points no everybody can collect points today everybody who's on the server here can and will collect points. That's maybe what I have to explain now while we are starting in the first uh, round here. Let me actually disable uh, my metal window. We don't need that. I am hiding some information on uh, with my camera. I hope it's not too bad, but I'm not really hiding anything super interesting. So let's see, first round, who do we go on to? What about Purple? Purple is on the start, that is fantastic. What about Giuliano? <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. So the map is not too complicated. We will see who's gonna win the first round here. Of course, you wanna make sure to uh, have good rounds in order to reach the finalist mode as quickly as possible because then you will have um, a higher chance of actually closing it out, which is obviously the goal. We see people yeeting up the checkpoint. Very dank. Sixer also doing some very dank stuff. And we have the first round win by Elcon. I am not surprised what in the overlay is happening here. Holy overlay mania. What is this? That looks a bit dank. Yeah, guys, not everything is perfect yet. Not everything is perfect. We're happy that the server is running at all with so many people on it. But yeah, um, basically this was round one. We're going to play another two. Um, now I'm going to explain you how the, um, the point uh, earning works. Because, of course, goal of everyone playing here is not only to have fun, but also to... Um, optimally qualify for the monthly final because there you will be able to win prizes because this entire tournament as you can see on the announcement pictures is sponsored by Volvic so the top three of the monthly final will win some prizes and um, the way you can qualify to it basically um, works in a way that the top three of each weekly qualifier so the top three who will be the first ones to close out finalists today will instantly be qualified to the monthly final. So they don't earn any points, they are just uh, straight up qualified. Um, the fourth and fifth place will earn a huge amount of points because they also finished out uh, the finalist mode. So the fourth place, if I remember correctly, will win 15,000 points and the fifth place 10,000 points. And then the entire rest of the players will basically earn points according to the points they had at the ending of the match. So if Kanchika, um has 6,000 points when the tournament ends, then he will earn 6,000 points. Basically like that. Not too complicated. I can also show you um, a bit of an overview later. It will be understandable. It's a bit hard to, 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 to explain at the beginning, 
but you guys will all understand it. We will fix this overlay for the next time. I hope it's fine. You can see um, we at least disabled the lower ranking. So this is overlapping a little bit. Super sorry for that, guys. But um, yeah, we will improve everything for the next week. Okay, final round of this map. Uh, we currently have Lars in first place. And Lars is, of course, um, an absolute cook when it comes to uh, fast learning weird ass maps. So Lars is definitely one of the favorites to become top three here. Same goes for Elcon. Scrappy, of course, also really good at that. So yeah, let's see. Um, well, Lars with a beautiful speed slide, having way more speed than everybody else, but not with an optimal bobsleigh line. Is getting overtaken by Fredwolf, Area, Paco, and Elcon, and now also some others. So not the greatest last round, but of course the competition is very stacked. I mean, if I show you the players here, we have a lot of known faces, a lot of Div 1 players, a lot of um, people who are also really good at Jack maps, people like Techie. We have Shadowcrancer playing, Elcon playing, a lot of streamers as well, because I invited some people for today. We, for example, have Drillux playing, as well as yeah, many, many others. So, gonna be very interesting, gonna be very, very stacked tournament. So getting top 3 out of 114 soldiers here is not gonna be easy, guys. It's not gonna be easy, trust me with that. So, next map, map number 2. Yeah, hello guys, high quality map. This looks very, very fantastic. We have a backslide in the ending, reactor boost, very flat road, absolutely piece of creation here. I think, in my opinion, this should become track of the day tomorrow. Banger map, mashallah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> very simple map though, quite short, so a lot of people technically have a chance at winning here. So, let's see. Round uh, Map number two, round one <laughs> let's take a look at uh, scrappy scrappy <laughs> scrappy was i asked scrappy to play this he was like yeah on monday i should still have the nurse for it <laughs> so i'm not sure if we're gonna see scrappy ever again in this tournament but already now shout out to uh, to him for playing it i hope he will have at least a little bit of fun <laughs> i hope he will not get tilted by this but he got second place i think with a second place scrappy will be happy considering the um you know the power of opponents here <laughs> but cool to see him playing though. Same for many others. Very cool to see so many known faces here. We really worked hard on this tournament. And even though not everything is perfect, of course, um, I hope people will still enjoy it. And I hope uh, we will see many of these players again next week. And optimally even more players because we will have um, additional servers being ready there. We have a new leader actually, Pepper. Damn, Pepper of course a good player. But um, seeing him at first is surprising to me. But really, really cool of course. So let's see how he's gonna cook in the next round. So far, so good, I would say. Not having the best speed. You wanna have a good backside, of course, early into the reactor. And it looks like Scrappy actually will win the round. Scrappy, absolute Giga Chef. Very good job by him. Pepper only in 16th, because this field is just so stacked. So he's probably gonna lose his uh, first place right away. Next round, uh, let's follow Mr. Shadowcrancer, a regular in the chat. Of course, also many of my regular viewers playing Shadowcrancer, Kanchika as well, Hagen, Prophet, many, many known faces from the stream. In general, it's really cool. It's like a mixture of, you know, Granadi viewers, generally known Trickmania players, and also just like typical Trickmania players that just tend to play these type of cups. And Scrappy with another good position here. The leaderboard is uh, doing things, but Scrappy with another first place. So even though he was a little bit further behind, he is catching up big time actually. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yes, this was map number two. Also a rather simple one. I'm pretty sure the next map um, is going to be a little bit more dank. So let's see what it's going to be like. Yeah, hello guys. The maps are getting more complicated, by the way. What the hell did I randomize here? Yeah, fantastic. Great map. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think this will be competitive. <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy it. But I mean, that's the that's the charm. You either love it or you hate it. But when you randomize maps and you use random maps in the tournament, then maps like this are just gonna be part of it. That's just uh, how it is. <laughs> I can also tell you, um, this tournament for the first month we will be using random maps exclusively uh, for future um, monthly rotations i might also use um, maps that either i built myself or i maybe even ask you guys to build maps and to send them in so kind of bonk cup uh, ish we don't know we will see depending on what people will like but let's see i mean this could of course um 
throw the rankings, uh, yeah, completely in a different way. Let's see, who is the best easy map player? It oh my god, look at this. Elcon semifying. I'm not too surprised. Shadow Crancer as well. I am not too surprised about that. And you see Lars, for example, not with the greatest points here. Yeah, but that's cool. That's the cool thing, though. Like, we have all types of maps in this. We have Bobsleigh, we have Yektek, we have five second classic maps. And in the ending, it's just. It, it, like, believe it or not, or like it or not, but in the ending, players who are the best all rounders, who are able to learn every kind of style quickly, are just gonna be in the lead. The thing is, you know what I just noticed, guys? You know what I just noticed? We're gonna have finalist mode, of course. And finalist mode, you need to win a round. Do you know how hard it is to win one specific round against these kind of players? Look at the names we have here. And especially if we have maps like this, Dan, that is beyond stupid. We might have like 20 finalists or so until we have our first winner. This is absolutely crazy, man. But I like it, man. It's, of course, not a giga... Tr like, th th that's the that's also one intention with this tournament in general. I wanted to make it in a way that you can try hard it. As, you know, if you're Lars or Marius and you play every competition and you want to win, sure. But it should also be interesting for Alexander123. You know, everybody uh, is supposed to have fun with this tournament. Which is, of course, impossible. But I tried my best to achieve it as good as possible and we have um the next map and are we starting upside down yes we do okay this is the first uh, more complicated map so a little bit more of a skill gap on this one so i'm pretty sure um the uh, yeah the fast learners people like lars will be able to um profit from this map and i would say i'm also gonna follow lars because i always always when i host these type of tournaments i always call call lars my gps because lars is just so good in um discovering maps for the first time like he's so good in instantly noticing the route uh, i didn't play test the maps by the way i'm not sure like if we're unlucky we're gonna have really hard maps as well i hope it's just not gonna be one of them but it look what just happened with the camera but it looks solid for now lars also having a good warm-up run same for elcon never mind elcon touched zemo is also having a good run zemo is also a really good player who's often joining the tournaments Lars actually stops to play. The thing is, we have 40 seconds of warm-up, I believe, or 45. But we sometimes have maps which are longer than 45. And that, of course, means um, you don't even have time to check out entire maps in the warm-up. Sometimes you will just have to drive blind. The warm-up is basically not even a warm-up. It's just, like, there to make sure that everybody loads into the map in time. Oh yeah, we have Techie in third place. Techie doing really good considering we are playing mostly normal maps. Techie, of course, known for being really good on, uh, you know, dank shit. <laughs> so yeah. Wait, Elcon said he knows this map. Okay, I'm gonna uh, follow him in the next round, Dan. Very, very interesting. But let's follow uh, Techie for now. Let's see if people find the way. Because people didn't get further than this in the warm-up. Where did Elcon just go? Did Elcon just shortcut? I think Elkon just short and Zemo is also shortcutting. People are shortcutting. Look at this. There is a big shortcut. You can jump out here, land in a backslide, and continue driving. Wait, you can instantly or oh, you shortcut. You can pick up the checkpoint, instantly go to the finish. So look at the gaps here. We have a 14 second gap in the top eight. So the shortcutters are, uh, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Dude, imagine you jump out here and you land in the checkpoint perfectly. I'm pretty sure Dennis and Elcon did that. Okay, that is gonna be interesting to follow. That is kind of crazy. I mean, that can of course also happen, but that's also a serious talent. Like, okay, Elcon knew the map, but the others, they had 40 seconds. They loaded onto the map, 40 seconds. They had a, a 50 second map, and they had enough time to even find a shortcut. That is crazy. So let's follow Elcon. Let's see. In the meantime, Elkon is already more than 50% through with the uh, finals, actually. So it seems like uh, the top players are consistently getting points here. So actually, um, oh my god, okay, the spectator is a little bit laggy here. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay, hopefully it's a bit better now. Shadowcrans are actually overtaking with a very nice line here. Let's see if he is gonna... Yeah, if he's gonna be able to do a cut. Or if if Shadowcrans was even going for it. Elcon is going for it. He is jumping. Oh my god. 
Clean landing. No, he bonked, but Seamouse made it. Seamouse made it, finish. Elcon bonked, but still good placement by him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is still a fifth place. Very, very good cooking. Lars in six. And you see how much faster it is, actually, when you, uh, when you get the cut clean. That is some crazy gaps here. Many people also not going for the cut, but you have like a cruise control here. Without cut, you are really slow, actually. Holy moly. Elcon is really consistently getting points here. Scrappy losing out on quite a bit, but it's really just Elcon pulling away like crazy now. But I mean, that's of course can also happen that when you randomize maps, that some people uh, know them before. That is a possibility, of course. Who do we follow? What about Push Tito Paco? Let's see. What is Paco gonna cook? Does he know the cut though? Paco, of course, a really good driver. Not um, very commonly found in these type of tournaments. He's rather playing like the tryhard tournaments. But nonetheless, he uh, is of course a really good player. And even though he's maybe not the greatest at fast learning, he can still keep up, as you can see. So let's see uh, what he is gonna cook over here. Looking good so far. Is he gonna go for the cup? Is he aware? No, he is not. Okay, many people are not going for it. Even though uh, it's very easy to be fast with it. And Elkon with a 42, 2.5 seconds ahead of Obi Boy. Crazy, but you see like how much slower it is. Look at this. Paco was first, not going for the cut now, and he's only gonna get like 30th. Like, not going for the cut is really not an option to be honest. Like, it's like 15 seconds faster or something. Crazy. Paco went from first to 36. Crazy. Holy moly, that cut uh, is actually crazy. <laughs> that is actually very, very crazy. Ah, but look at this man, Elcon, nine, uh, 900, 700 points ahead of second. Elcon really wants to instantly qualify because as I, uh, uh, what is this map? What is in this cube? Oh, okay, that is looking very complicated. A very technical dirt map. Okay, let's go on to a uh, large GPS board again. Damn, okay. Also looks like there could be a cut here because everything is like so narrow. Let's see if everything is going to be drivable. Tight line here. Lars sorted immediately. Area getting a really good start. People are actually going for a cut. Some people going inside, some people going outside here. Lars with a clean line around the hole. Balancing down into the wall right. Very cooked map actually. Lars the only one who seemed to have figured out the route here. Now picking up the final checkpoint, going around here. People, I do see people going for different routes, but are people actually trying to cut or is there, like, it's hard to tell. It would be very difficult to, to follow. But maps like this in general do just kind of look cuttable because like all of the checkpoints are close to each other. So possibly we have another cut. Let's see though. Let's follow uh, Mr. Scrappy on his uh, way to victory here, maybe. He has had one really good map besides that. Solid positions, but nothing crazy. So let's see how he's gonna do on this one here. Maybe for those of you who also have other streams open. Do people enjoy the competition so far? The streamers like Lars, Scrappy, I don't know who else is streaming, Trilogs, etc. Do people have fun or are they like, oh my god, I'm never gonna join again? <laughs> Would be interesting. Okay, Scrappy with a bit of an unlucky slide out here. Scandia, I... Am I stupid or did Elcon go for a cut again? Did, did he go for a cut again? Do we have the second cut map? Ain't no way, little bro. Ain't no way. Fucking Elcon, man. Elcon really dominating this uh, kind of tournament here. Holy moly. Watch his POV. I mean, I could open... Wait, okay, you know what? Stop. Okay, we're gonna listen into the stream. First of all, a round on Lars POV. Oh wait, he has copyright music though. Then go up here, wait a second. Grab this checkpoint here, jump to Okay, here. Lars is figuring out a cut Grab route. Up here. I gotta be and careful with music, see. otherwise the entire ship might get muted here. That should be fine. It's faster, I'm gonna try. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I, I'm gonna try. Okay, Lars figured out something. Let's see, will he be able to do it? Gonna be interesting to see. We're gonna go for the live camera reaction. Dropping into this, alright. Then going around this, dropping into this, dropping into this checkpoint. Then starting to drive. He is sure missing checkpoints though. He's the checkpoints. only one going for cuts. It's He's going slower. here. And it's slower. Yeah. Lars is 70 seconds. 
<laughs> yeah, that's of course the risk, but Lars, I appreciate your balls. Yeah, I should have just driven that sounds wrong, you I know what I mean? Um, yeah, I hope you, uh, you, you know what I mean, guys, you know what I mean. Oh, that is. <laughs> nice try, Lars, though. Points. Nice try. Yeah, and my warm up time would have also been. Ah, okay, that's my fault, I guess. Okay. That's my fault. <laughs> would have Big Jack Monthly Cup. Trilux also streaming it. That is cool to see. Let's listen into the to the German gang. Trilux playing with Schroeder, Fibu, many others as well. Let's check in on uh, Mr. Oh, should we check out Elcon? Okay, let's check out Elcon POV because um, we want to see the cut, of course. And Elcon is almost having a 1000 points lead against so many good players. Elcon is just like from another planet when it comes to stuff like that. It's actually crazy. It's like I started to host this tournament specifically for Elcon. It is crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, Elcon, show me what you got. And then in the warm-up of the next round, we can maybe listen to another stream again. So, is he doing a cut or is he just going um, normal? Techy is going for the cut. Probably gonna have the same um, same reaction as Lars did. Which is being, uh, fuck, this is slower. But, like, you don't even need to cut. Like, he is just fast as fuck, man. People are keeping somewhat up, but Elcon is just always up there. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh my god, what a smart line! Nobody else is doing this. What a smart line. Okay, Elcon, honestly, he is just a Giga Chat. Actually, so obvious, but also, like, you don't think about this when you see a map. Like, you have 30 seconds or, like, 40 seconds to learn the map. You don't... Like, so many people don't even tend to think about stuff like that. And Elcon is just going for it. Like, he's just like, oh, yeah, risky line, zack, finish, easy. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy performance by him. Super, super sick. Okay, uh, let's go back to Twitch. Let's see, um, Trilux. Of course, German stream. I just want to see their reactions. Trilux currently in 51st. Of course, Trilux not often playing these tournaments, but very, very cool to see him playing. But let's see. Waiting for their reaction. Well, let, let's let's hear their reaction for the next map. I don't know the map order. I don't know what's coming up. What is this? Sidewalk by Eddie. Live reaction. What is this? I think this was tagged as a full speed map. Can Chica type 1? Also, look at this background picture here. Uh, this is a full speed map, I think. Yeah. So the 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 yeah, the typical full speed. Oh, he's watching the GPS. Yeah. Actually, smart smart idea. Let's uh, let's follow the GPS. We can see a clean run then as well. Oh my God, I'm not sure if he has enough time to finish it. <laughs> but let's see. I hope the map is not too hard. I hope it's not. <laughs> I hope it's uh, I hope it's drivable. But let's see. Let's watch the GPS here together with Trilux. Zack, you can reduce some oh, air time here, a wall ride. Okay, it looks, uh, looks quite simple speed. though. Not a... <laughs> okay, people yeah, are not too happy about full speed, guys. Okay. Apparently. Yeah. I'm just hearing oh, Gröder saying full speed. Yeah, speed, speed. Okay, drivable. Oh my god, the risky! Oh, no. oh. Holy shit, okay. Let's hop straight into round one. What is that risky finish? Jesus Christ. Intax is saying he played this. Well then, all eyes on Intax, I would say. Let's see if he actually did or if he maybe just like played it once or so. And yeah, Elcon is actually uh, close to finalist because he is 1,700 points in the lead. Don't ask me. Don't ask me, please. Intax indeed having a good start here. Kanchika, of course, also high up in the field fighting with Vilux for first place. Kanchika, of course, our uh, full speed player, full speed coach, as I like to call him. Is he going to go for the risky, though? Or are people going to save? Oh, Intax missed it, I think. No way. Okay, that risky is... You need balls of steel for it. Jesus Christ. Intax only 58 with that. Holy nasty. That is a nasty risky finish. Kanchika winning though. It's the top three who are going to close out finalist will instantly qualify to the um, to the monthly final. So in this case, if it's just going by the current points, it would be Skandir, Naiko and Elkon who will be instantly qualified. Fourth place will get 15,000 points, right? Fifth place, 10,000 points, because they, they get an extra amount, basically, because they also closed out um, finalists. So they're not insta-qualified, but they get um, a big amount of points. And then an additional rule is that people who made it to finalist without closing it out um, will actually win 7,500 points. So even though the point limit is 6,969, they will win 7,500. So as a small bonus for reaching finalists, you could say. And then the rest of the players who did not reach finalists will basically just earn points according to what they had when the uh, match was closed out. So yeah. Another cool thing is that uh, we actually have a website for the results of this tournament. 
which uh, which you can always visit, and it always shows you yeah the the current results, the current standings, who is currently uh, on his way to qualify. I can show you that at the ending. But yeah. <clears throat> so, I hope uh, this is all understandable. For the first edition, it might be a lot of information, but trust me, I will show it to you and you guys will all understand it. And then in the next weeks, it will be super, super easy. So, the competition is always on Monday, always Monday after Cup of the Day. And the day after, so on Tuesday after Cup of the Day, an edited video with the highlights and the important rounds and stuff of this tournament will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So, we have a lot of content around it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy all of that. So, final round already on this. Elcon! We have the first finalist. Elcon could be the winner of the tournament, but I think he's not going to do it because he respawns. Understandable. <laughs> not sure why. He, ha he had a bad start, but why did he respawn? <laughs> okay, anyway. So Elcon not going to win his first finals round here. Let's see Scrappy having a good one. And Scrappy in third place. Okay. Scrappy actually cooking. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Lars lost out on quite a few points. And we have a rather easy map again. And I would say uh, we're gonna join into another voice chat here because Giuliano is also streaming it. Let's see his warm up. What is he gonna cook? Hello? Okay. Let's see. Oh, ah, copyright music maybe? <laughs> yeah, my name is Giuliano and I drive into the same hole twice. <laughs> okay, jump. All right, dodging another hole. Okay, you can. Oh, you can skip the ramp on the side. Oh my god. Okay, that is nasty. That is a nasty, risky route. Will Elcon be able to do this? This looks quite hard to do on keyboard, and then also risky finish. Holy. Okay, that is a banger. That is a. Holy, that is hard. But you need a lot of risk for that, and that is something Elcon is definitely not bad at. Oh, and you can even skip <gasps> you can even skip the first ramp. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Is Elcon aware of that? I would think he is, but he also has to uh, pull it off, of course. So let's see. He still has um, a lead of 1,400 points, but look how close it is here, actually. There are three people within seven points. <laughs> Holy man. I think so far it is really exciting. I think so far it is really exciting, and the field is so much more stacked than I thought. Okay, Elcon is aware. Elcon is aware. But many others are as well. He needs to get first. Everything besides first doesn't matter. No wall right line. Is he maybe gonna be the lowest? No! Boah, close A. And that is what I mean. The field is so stacked. Like, even for Elcon, it's not easy to win a round. Look at this. Semifying, winning a round. Very cool that Semifying is playing as well. I'm also gonna... Um, I can also follow him on one round, I guess. Uh, I hope we're not gonna miss the... The Elcon um, finalist pull through Dingsbums. <laughs> but I wanna follow uh, Mr. Semifying. But that is a risky map, eh? That is a full risk map. Would be a good one for me, to be honest. So, Shadow Crancer left? Yeah, my name is Shadow Crancer. <laughs> Maybe got kicked from the server, I don't know. Let's see, Mr. Semifying. On the real knives, like, what, what is the guy doing? I could do better. Let's see. Let's yeah, see. No, but go, I got go. my number one, so I'm happy. Go, go, Sammy. For the deny. You might be the chosen so. Oh my god, he almost clipped. <laughs> oh, he's going here! Oh, different line! It's oh ready. no, bad bobsleigh entry. Yeah, but who's gonna win first. this round? Let's see it. Mess. It's not Elcon, I think. Oh, it's Bird! Oh, I'm firing oh, points. It's not here. Elcon. Okay, I'm but semi fine, good points, eh? Semi fine is cooking. Very nice to see. Semi fine also, um, like when I invited him to this cup, or, like, you know, told him about it and asked him if he wanted to play. He said, uh, yeah, I want to play more of these community-hosted cups either way. So usually he's not really playing them very often. So that is uh, cool to see. All right, Elcon. Let's once again check it out. What is with Elcon? Scrappy lost along a lot of points again. Oh, Elcon knows about the line now. Oh, oh, Elcon might close it out. I think he is first. I think he's first. I think he's first. I think... Is he? Oh my god, it's so close. He's in second. Holy shit, eh? This is so competitive and probably so frustrating for Elkhorn. <laughs> Holy moly. But the issue that he has now, all of the others will have as well. It's not gonna be easy for anyone. And Skandir actually denying. And do we have another finalist? Yes, we do. Oh my god, Skandir was 497 points away. And only with first he was able to get it. So actually clutch by Skandir. The next map could be very deciding. The thing is, I, I randomized three altered Nadeo maps, guys. And I can tell you one of them included the snow car. So if that comes up now, that will change everything up. Okay, this looks like an Elcon map. What is this? What is this? 
Why is everything red? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's follow Skandir. Let's see what he's gonna cook. Going in. We have a drop to the right. All right. Into a three-wheel outside bank turn. Don't wanna go too high here. Otherwise, you slide out. Skandir uh, noticed that as well. Good line by him. And we have some block mix here. Feels uh, Serrator. Okay, very interesting sausage boy here. Good warm up by Skandir so far. Looks promising. But all of the other good players, of course, will also um, have a saying here. Now we have Reactor up through the water. Maybe even wall rideable. I'm not sure. Then we have a very long right turn with a jump. Where do we have. No! Oh my god, this jump! You have to jump one left, guys! I hope people see this. Oh no, wait, is it a straight jump to the finish? No. I think- wait, what was that? Wait, stop, 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 stop. I think you jump off here, and you land on the start again, and then go back through the start. Or maybe you can make it all the way here. That is gonna be- okay, that's gonna be crazy. That is gonna be crazy. I don't know if people are aware of that. I'm not even sure- like, I- I'm only spectating- okay, Elkon and Matt. I'm spectating, and even I don't know what's happening. Did Willux... Willux went for a cut? I think Willux cut it. <laughs> okay, everyone is confused. That is, uh... Yeah, interesting. <laughs> so, Skandir... Is going for a lot of speed. Is he... Oh my god, if he makes the risky finish, we might have the winner. He is not jumping straight. Okay. Lars! Scrappy jumping direct! People flipping over it! Is somebody gonna finish it? In ducks? What the fuck? Oh my god, you need so much speed for that. Holy shit, did you see that? You need so much speed for that. Okay, that is, uh, yeah. Gonna be very dank. What are these rounds? It's getting so exciting. It's, of course, not super competitive. Like, I would not recommend using cup mode with 120 players in a, a you know, try-hard competition. But for something like this, it's just perfect. It's absolute chaos. And I really hope the players and also the spectators especially um, appreciate it. Yeah, let's see what's going on now. Lars seems like he knows what to do in the ending. We also have some epic background music here, on stream at least. YouTube people have different music, of course. So Lars knows that he needs to go for the Omega speed. Corso went for a cut, look at this, there is a small uh, sausage shortcut you can do. Doesn't seem to be faster though, but interesting detail. Oh, Lars going for a wall bang! Oh, but Lars has wet tires! No! Where is uh, Skandir? Skandir, Skandir! Skandir has low speed. Everybody is going straight. Skandir is gonna go for a bounce. Skandir is flipping over it! Everybody is flipping over it! And it's Fred <laughs> Oh my god, what is that risky? <laughs> Did everybody skip over it? Did, is it even possible to make that clean? Like, Skandir had good speed and he landed like here. <laughs> Look at this risky. Holy shit, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so freaking stupid. I love it. Okay, Naiko is finalist. We have the third one. Is Scrappy finalist? My math? No, Scrappy is not finalist. Okay, Techie isn't either. Best cup ever, yeah? I hope you guys enjoy it as well. For the people watching on YouTube, I really hope uh, you enjoyed as well. Let me know in the comments, of course, what you think about this. Of course, as I said, not everything is perfect. And once again... I'm very sorry for yeah for everyone who tried to join but um, did not manage to do so. It is uh, yeah a lot of a lot more people. Oh yeah, hello. Two seconds faster. My name is Naiko. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, wait, it's not that much faster. He has way less speed. The thing is, oh my god, Naiko versus Elcon. Naiko versus Elcon. We're gonna catch it in camera 7. Will they make the risky finish? They have a lead. If somebody makes it, they will make it. <gasps> the Skandir! GG! Skandir won! Ain't no way, man. This, this map is so stupid. <laughs> we have the winner, the very first qualified player for the big Yek monthly cup, monthly final, which is gonna take place end of August. Skandir, very well played. Very uh, good performance here on the risky finish, I guess. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. Elkon has been sitting in finalists for very long, though. Like, the huge lead he had, he really couldn't uh, pull it off on any of the maps. Like, he won so many rounds before, though. But now, um, in Germany, we would say, uh, da ist der Wurm drin. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We have four finalists, though. 
And we're only gonna play uh, the top five. So let's see. Uh, this is a campaign map. And it has reactor boosts on the checkpoints. And I think... Spring 2021, 16, snow car, reactor town. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry for Elcon. I am so sorry for Elcon. Elcon, I love you. I am so sorry for Elcon. He hates snow car. But is there anybody on the server who does not hate snow car is the real question. So Scrappy and finalist, come on Scrappy. I really want Scrappy to make it because I'm really happy that he's playing. And I feel like if he's gonna, if he's gonna be stuck in finalist, he's never gonna join again. Yeah, hello guys, it's Scrappy. Oh my god, what is happening here? Jan van Achter. Of course, the people who did play some snowcore in the past um, will have a good chance here. Elkon is actually. It looks like he's cooking. It also looks like he's cheating because it's lagging. And semifying, yeah, semifying of course. Elkon, no! Oh my god, Elkon! Oh my god, Elkon! Oh, Eklon. <laughs> It's my bad. Uh, Eklon. <laughs> oh, this is what I was born for, semi-fying sass. Giga chat. Oh my god. The thing is, guys, like, even if Elcon um, is not closing out finalists, which would be unfortunate because he would really deserve it, he will gain good points either way. And if he just plays every week, he will 100% qualify to the monthly final. No doubt, guys. No doubt. He will 100% make it. But you know, it's like the kind of the bonk up effect. Like, of course you get tilted by it, but it's like a fun kind of tilted. <clears throat> so, <laughs> where is semi I want to see semi -fying. He is in 19th. He is quite far behind, but even he can still win it. Oh, what did Elkon do? It looked like a bunny hop. The thing is, this is not normal snow car driving. Like, of course... Scrappy? <gasps> Scrappy! Scrappy, Scrappy, Scrappy! Scrappy in first? Scrappy not in first. Who won? Wait! Feeble! Feeble won! Ain't no way! Feeble from the Trilux gang won! Ain't no way! He beat all of the pro players! The German streaming power! Feeble won! <laughs> okay, that is rare. That is uh, very interesting. And once again, he is denying a shit ton of people. Pep Bear now getting into finalists. We have so many finalists, guys. <laughs> oh shit. I was first of all a little bit scared that the tournament is going by too quickly because Elcon reached finalists so quickly. But it seems like the finalist uh, part of the tournament is, um, yeah, quite important. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> quite important. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so, final round on this beautiful creation. Come on, Scrappy. I, I, I'm cheering for Scrappy. Scrappy and Elcon. I'm cheering for Scrappy and Elcon. And Lars as well. Scrappy seems like he understands the start. Okay, bit yak line, but he has really good access speed. Oh, come on. Scrappy, you have the lead of Doom. Intact sniping, though. Lars sniping as well. Maybe Lars being able to pull it off on the snow map. It's gonna be about the ending. Who's gonna be first? It is actually Lars with the GG. Well deserved, Lars, as well. Unlucky for Scrappy, eh? He was so close, but yet so far. GG, Lars, man. G fucking G. Let's see Scrappy live reaction. One more random ass map here. Scrappy live what reaction to get? the new map. How bad is it gonna be? If it's ice, I'm leaving the server. Uh -oh. Because then Elcon is gonna win. <laughs> uh oh. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm getting a middle finger. <laughs> oh no, this is an alternate map. Alt campaign there and back. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> alternate let's go. Uh, alt and uh, forwards. This means, guys, this means. Man, let me go, Cap7. Um, so, there and back altered campaign means. The start and the finish are at the same place, but the checkpoints are still there. Um, they're all linked, right? Guys, they're all linked, right? They are not... Uh, they, they are linked, right? Otherwise, nobody's gonna ever play my tournament again. They, they, they are linked, guys, right? <laughs> Please tell me they are linked. <laughs> okay, they are linked. Okay, so what people have to do is... They basically drive the map in normal, but then I have to go back to the start, there and back. So people then need to figure out a route. So they, they get one of the checkpoints, one is fine. I hope people are aware of that. They get one. Yeah, one, not zero. And once they get one... Oh, you know what? Oh my god, you know what you can do? People can get the ring, double respawn here, and then drop from here, down here. 
big brain time. The brainers will win. And you know who is a brainer? Techie. Techie has the biggest brain in the market. Let's see. Why leaking strats? Yeah, they're all good. They're, nobody of them playing is listening. They're all streaming themselves. Techie has a big brain. Giuliano, also a big brain. Okay. Let's go camp 7, because otherwise it's impossible to catch this. So, you want the ring. You want the ring and double respawn, double respawn, double respawn. Elkon! 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 Jumping down! GG. GG, Elkon, deserved win. We can all agree that this was a deserved win. GG, Elkon. Like, he deserved it. He deserved it. And with that, we have the first three qualified players for the monthly cup. It is Skandir, Lars and Elkon. Some people are leaving the server. That is honestly not the best idea because... Uh, fourth and fifth place will get a huge amount of points. Um, yeah, let's keep our eyes on Paco. The thing is, Paco had the world record on this map. I'm pretty sure he had the WR on the normal version of this map. <laughs> so he has a little bit of an advantage here. He basically just needs to make the respawn. Oh, Giuliano! Where is he coming from? Giuliano! Who's gonna make it? Giuliano respawning. <gasps> Giuliano might deny. Giuliano is not finalist, but he might deny Paco. Bad landing, maybe? Giuliano? Oh, we have a fight, Giuliano versus Paco, and it's Paco making it. Okay, GG Paco. Paco in fourth. Of course, he had a bit of an advantage because he knew the map by heart. But he um, he closed it out. That is honestly um, someone I would not have thought was going to uh, close out finals here. Nothing against Paco, he is really talented. But as I said earlier, um, he's usually not playing these kind of tournaments. So that is actually very impressive. Very, very nice. Okay, so Paco will win 15,000 points towards the leaderboard. Once again, a reminder, I will show you the leaderboard um, later on again. Once we have um, the next finalists played out. Okay, so we have seven finalists. And I think this is a map. Scrappy could, uh, Scrappy could win. This is a possible Scrappy map. The thing is, oh god, the map is very long though. The map is actually uh, one minute long. One minute is the offer time. So, yeah. That could be... Uh, could be difficult because people do not have enough time to check out everything in the warm-up. So let's see, who could be good at this? Who could be who could be a winner here? Let's follow Naiko. Naiko was the third to reach finalist. So, he does know about the risky jump. Same as pretty much everybody else. Oh, but Naiko got an acceleration penalty, I think. Oh, I saw someone. Did somebody go for a cut there? No way. Did <gasps> we have cutters! <gasps> we have cutters! We have cutters! You can cut. You can jump straight from here down here. And people did that. And we have Hagen, but Techie. Techie chasing. Techie chasing Hagen. Hagen is an absolute genius when it comes to finding cuts. But driving wise, I would say Techie is better. So he might be able to overtake him. We have a water bounce. <gasps> Techie barely making it. Hagen still staying it. Hagen needs to defend that if he wants to have a chance himself. Oh, there is the finish. Will Techie be able to overtake? Lower airtime. Bit of a better line, but it is actually Hagen staying ahead and Hagen coming out of freaking nowhere. Jesus Christ, man. The brain from people. We had, we had three cut maps this edition. Crazy move by Hagen. Come on. Techie doesn't know about the cut. I thought he's cutting. He doesn't know about it. F but you know who is? It's fucking Fred Wolf. Fred Wolf the Macher. I remember he subbed earlier in the stream in order to have a chance at joining with the subscriber password. Oh, but look at this. I see someone close to him who also wants that fifth slot. And that is none other than Naiko. Oh, but Naiko jumping, but you know what? There is purple. There is purple, there is purple, there is purple. No, 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 no. Is purple gonna deny? Lower airtime. Lower airtime. Purple versus Fredwolf. Fredwolf, lower airtime. I think Fredwolf has it. Fredwolf in fifth place. Sick job. That is the GG, and that is the official ending of the Big Yak Monthly Cup weekly qualifier number one of August. We have our first five um, yeah, uh, persons who closed it out. We have Skandir, Lars and Elkon who are already qualified to the monthly final. 
It is Paco winning 15,000 points and Fredwolf, also very unexpected to be honest. Really good job, uh, Fredwolf, good focus, winning 10,000 points. Additionally to that, um, oh my god, we barely have Giuliano and Semifying in finalists. So everyone who is finalist but didn't close it out, so all the way from Pup Bear to uh, Techie, uh, to Scrappy, they will win 7,500 points and the rest will basically get the points that they have right now. So Seamaus is gonna get his 6.9, then his 6.7, etc, etc. For now, I really hope you enjoyed, I really hope all of you who played um, had a good time. As I said, um, for the next week, we're gonna make sure to have more servers, two, if not even three, so that all of you guys who want to um, can join. Oh, it's live! Okay, 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 never mind, never mind. So, another cool thing, guys, um, another uh, Big Yak Monthly Cup exclusive is... That when you go to my Discord, you have this cool results channel, and here there is a website link because Marcus, uh, together with John C and also my other mods, um, cooked a website which shows the current results. If it's the correct link here, I hope it is. Yeah, there we go. Look, we have a website with me, with the logos, with the current standings added up together. And isn't that like if that is not mashallah, if this is not high quality? Trackmania tournament organizing, then I don't freaking know. So whenever you wonder how you guys are looking um, for the qualifying, then you can always visit the website. You can always, uh, you know, check out where you're currently looking at. Uh, the points of each weekly qualifier are being added up together automatically. So after the next weekly qualifier um, is done, the points will be added up together. We will take a look at this and you can always see the top 20. Because overall, but I didn't explain it actually, um, overall 20 people will qualify to the monthly final. So we have, uh, yeah, three to nine uh, Insta qualified people, like technically Skandir, Lars and Elcon would be allowed to play. Sorry, <laughs> to play all of the other qualifiers as well. So technically they could be the top three every single time. And uh, then it would be another 17 people being in by points. In case we have nine different um, Insta qualifiers, <laughs> then it will only be 11 people qualifying by points. But basically, you can always just visit top 20 at uh, the website, and whoever is displayed in the top 20 is currently on his way to qualify for the monthly final. And this, uh, the the standings are finalized after the third monthly, at uh, the third weekly qualifier. Jesus Christ! I think you guys all understand it. I think I'm making it more complicated than it is. It, it shouldn't be that complicated. <laughs> I guess you all understand it for now. Yeah, guys, I think everything is explained. Join the Discord if you're interested. YouTube people watching, um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about the tournament in the comments. Also, for you guys, make sure to join the Discord. YouTube people, you can also join the tournament if you're interested. And yeah, I think it was overall a very successful first edition of the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Um, everything worked. Maps were yak. Finalist was chaotic, basically everything as planned.